The world of Facebook advertising has changed significantly over the last few years with more and more saturation in the market. And as consumers begin to get more savvy with online marketing tactics, it is safe to say that the effectiveness of real estate lead generation on Facebook has drastically began to roll downhill. Hey, what's up my friends? My name is Angel Martinez and welcome back to my channel where I bring you value in all things content creation to empower you to get out there and create content because you, my friend, have a gift to share and the world needs to hear it. So I've had this question asked a lot and it's been brewing up in my head for quite some time now and I have found there to be some truth to this overall you know, perception or thought that Facebook ads are dead in the real estate industry. Now to answer the question that you're dying to know, are Facebook ads dead for real estate? The answer is heck no. And I'll explain and give you my thoughts as to why not and how they may have changed in the last couple years. I'll tell you what is dead. The days of good old Facebook leads for $2 or sub $5 for real estate is dead. I've been managing ad campaigns for the last seven years and back when we used to have all of the fancy targeting that we used to have when markets weren't completely saturated with Facebook ads, good and bad ads, yes, the bad ads out there also impacted the market created by all the DIYers at home also contributed to the saturation factor in the market. Over time, guess what? Leads have become worse and worse and worse, admit it, as if they weren't already difficult to manage with the bad emails, with the bad phone numbers. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I have seen it happen slowly but surely. Now, of course, be all, before all the Facebook wizards come with all this crap, I will say that this is a blanket statement. And yes, there will be some markets that are still doing extremely well with Facebook lead generation. But that is also something that needs to come with a disclaimer. The lead quality has gotten worse. So that means that now in order to really have success with Facebook leads, a strong and quality follow-up system is absolutely required. Before you can get away with doing your own follow-up and have some success, some success. Now, forget it. You'll be annoyed after the first 10 leads that you'll that will tell you to freaking f off. No matter what type of lead generation that you're doing, you're absolute you absolutely should have some sort of follow-up system in place. Whatever works for you and also actually works. You can no longer just throw up some random ads without having any actual strategy behind it. As more and more content floods our feeds, people are becoming more and more intentional about what they choose to consume and what gets swiped right through. Otherwise, it's just money right out the window and even worse, damaging for your brand. Another major thing that changed that recently, or sorry, that really just through a huge curveball for everyone in the real estate industry, marketers and the DIYers. And that was when Facebook got uh, sued for fair housing laws. And that completely removed all the amazing targeting options that Facebook gave us. And it only gets worse. Without an actual strategy in the real estate game, you're literally just burning money. Now, I'm about to share with you the number one reason why Facebook ads for real estate is not dead. Facebook advertising still remains the absolute most cost-effective way to build your brand. You can still reach several thousands of local people with your branding, with your content, with your message at an extremely low price. Cost per impressions have gone up, but still thousands of impressions for less than a hundred dollars versus the thousands of dollars for a billboard or TV ads. Now, disclaimer, I'm not anti-traditional methods. Traditional methods absolutely still work, but my point is to be willing to pay thousands of dollars on other forms of traditional marketing and not being willing to spend a fraction of that on Facebook ads to reach even more people, well, that's just completely foolish. The problem is you lack strategy and understanding of the platform and how it works. That's the real problem, your, la your lack of knowledge, not the platform. Your expectations of the platform are stuck back in 2016 and that is just completely unrealistic. Okay, so now number two, most important reason why Facebook ads are not dead. And this one was a very close tie to number one is you guys, you know the name of this game in any business really. The name of the game is D-A-T-A, -A, data, data, okay? Again, with this opportunity, your power to control and leverage data is beyond cheap. 
you can add, essentially build your own database of a local audience that is interested in real estate. And all you have to do is then learn how to remarket to your data, how to actually set up the retargeting audiences, how to show up, which a lot of you just don't understand how to shoot video, what kind of video, all of those things and how to put it all together strategically. Facebook ads are still and should always remain in any real estate business strategy. What you need to consider is your strategy and your expectations of this platform. The ability to build a brand with Facebook ad strategy is extremely powerful and absolutely doable. Whether you start off with $250 a month budget or your several thousands of dollars a month, where the future is headed is in quality content, creating quality content and then leveraging a platform like Facebook ads to distribute that and amplify that, that content, the results are powerful. My friends, don't give up on Facebook ads. Don't ignore them. There is definitely still strategy that can be applied to Facebook ads and implement them into your business in a way that will pay you exponential results. Now, if you found this video to be valuable, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow me for more content so that you can stay ahead of the game. All right, my friends, thank you so much for listening to this one. This one felt amazing. I felt good about this one. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.